Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the date and time picker in Excel VBA. I have this worksheet loaded with fictitious data. I have a score variable and it has various scores loaded in it. And then I have this date and time variable, which is now empty. But I want to use the date and time picker in conjunction with the user form so that I can select a cell in the date and time column that corresponds to a score, open the user form, and use the date and time picker to populate a custom formatted date and time. So I've placed this red rectangle on the worksheet and using the assign macro, right click and assign macro, I've assigned it to this sheet one dot open form so that when I click the red rectangle, it opens up this user form that I've already created. So let's take a look at the visual basic editor, see how it looks on that side. That's Alt F11. And you can see here the subroutine open form, the one that's connected to that red rectangle. And it's just the name of the user form dot show. So main is the name of the user form, main dot show. And here is the main user form. I have the date and time picker on the user form and a command button. So over here you can see in the toolbox I have various controls and the one here on the bottom right is the date and time picker. In order to get this to display on the toolbox so that you can drag it onto a user form as I've done here, go to tools and additional controls. And this dialog you can see the date and time picker is selected. So in this dialog, I have the selected items only checked off. If I uncheck that, you can see you're going to have to scroll down a bit to reach the Microsoft date and time picker. It's down here. And just check that off and click OK. And then you'll have the date and time picker available in the toolbox. And the way I created this was just clicking here on the date and time picker and dragging it onto the user form. So looking at this date and time picker I already have on the user form, you can see by moving over to the properties here on the left that the format is set to short date. And if I change that to long date, you can see I have the day of the week spelled out and the month spelled out. I also have the option of time and custom and I'm going to be using the custom format here. So with the format set to custom we want to go to the custom format here that's three cells above that and we want to use the formatting codes that will give us the desired output. So in this case I want the day of the week to be spelled out so that's four lowercase d's so I'll start with that and then I want the month spelled out, and that's four uppercase M's. Then the numeric day of the week, which would be two lowercase d's. I'll put a comma and then a space after that. And then the four digit year, which would be three Y's. So for this custom format property, it's three Y's. For the format I'll be using later for the Excel worksheet, it's four Y's. I'll put a space here, and then for the hour, it'll be two lowercase h's. And then I'll use a colon, and for the minute, it'll be two lowercase m's. And that's also different than formatting it on the worksheet. And then for AM, PM, it's two lowercase t's. And that's different as well from the format for the worksheet. So we have the code in for custom format. So I move back to the user form. You can see it updates to this new format. So in this case, we have the day of the week spelled out, the month spelled out, the numeric day, two digit, the numeric year, four digit, the time, and then AM. Or PM. So now I want to put code behind the command button so that when we have a cell selected we click this button 
and then we can pick a date and set a time from this control and it will load into that active cell. So I'll double click enter date and you can see private subroutine command button one underscore click and we have the end subroutine as well and we just need two lines of code here. The first is going to be active cell dot value equals dt picker one that's the name of the control the date and time picker on the user form and that's going to be dot value so the active cell becomes equal to the value selected by the date and time picker the next line of code is also going to start with active cell dot value so I'll just copy that from the first line of code control C to copy control V to paste and this will equal format of parentheses and again just control V because it's active cell dot value for the expression and we have comma and now we want to specify the format so this will be in quotation marks so quotation mark this will be four lowercase d's for the day of the week spelled out you can put a space four uppercase M's for the month spelled out a space two lowercase D's for the numeric date a comma a space and for this format it's going to be four lowercase Y's for the four digit year a space HH for our colon and instead of two lowercase M's this is going to be two lowercase n's for the minute so n n and then instead of two lowercase t's this is going to be a m slash p m and then quotation mark and close parentheses so just these two lines of code and let's see how this works moving back to the worksheet if i want to enter a date and time that corresponds to this score for example when this score was collected I select the cell under date and time click the red rectangle to open the user form and let's say I want to have Monday October 24th and you can see it defaults to 12 a.m. I can just click into this control and change that let's make this 330 p.m. Now we click enter date and close this and we can see that Monday, October 24th, 2016, 3.30 p.m. So the format of the date and time in this cell matches the format that we saw in the date and time picker control on the user form. So moving to the next cell, show one more example here. We again open this main form that has the date and time picker. In this case, I'm going to move to another month, move to December, and let's use December 14th. I'll make this 8.45, and I'll leave it at a.m. So Wednesday, December 14th, 2016, 8.45 a.m. Click Enter Date, and again, the format matches. Just to expand this so it'll fit. You can see the format here matches the format that was used on the date and time picker. I hope you found this video on using the date and time picker control in Excel VBA to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.